All right, geeks, we're back. We're keeping it moving. Superior Ock is out of his case. Next up, we're going with the Vulture. Been looking online. Most people want to see the Vulture. Most people want to buy the Vulture. The figure I was looking forward to most was Superior Ock, so I opened that first. But now, the people's choice, the Vulture. Let's go. All right, so just a heads up, if you're one of the people that's thinking about not getting this entire wave, I have to say, don't do it. A couple of reasons. You know, I've been looking since it was announced on the internet, a lot of people were down in this wave and saying they didn't want it and they were poo-pooing on it. Oh, I just want the Vulture. Oh, I just want uh, Superior Ock. Some people, oh, I just want Shang-Chi. Shang Everyone's like, got their specific one or two that they want and then they poo-poo on it. Well, here's the thing. Number one, each and every one of these figures look fantastic in hand. This is one of the better waves that I've seen lately because each individual figure stands on its own as far as painting and sculpting. And again, this is from inside the package, but you know, I pick up a lot of packages and this one strikes you. This wave strikes you when you pick up and look at each one. Second of all, even though people, including myself, were unhappy that they were doing a regular size bath, that doesn't change the fact that it's a great figure. I saw the figure assembled, um, where did I see it? That doesn't matter, but anyway, I saw the figure assembled in real life. It is dope. So a year from now, two years from now, you're gonna be on eBay paying an arm and a leg for that bath or just for any of these figures that you want because I don't think this wave is gonna sell as well as the others and the price is gonna get hiked. But anyway, that's enough preaching. I'm just saying if you're on the fence, I don't think you can lose. Grab it. Mr. Toombs, what do you have for us? Marvel's Vulture. Adrian Toombs uses a specialized flying suit to soar through the skies as the Vulture. Is that all he does? He's just a sightseer? Not a criminal? Yo, Adrian! Adrian! Rocky! Adrian! Alright, look good in the plastic. Alright, so we got two layers. This plastic comes with the figure. The bath head, the alternate head, and the wings come in the second case. All right, so in the box, got the Dumbo Goblin's head and tongue apparently. Wing comes in four pieces. Be careful to fly out the box at you, literally. I'm not even making a pun. I was trying to get the wing out and both these small pieces flew across the room. You got the alternate head with, action. man, this looks good. With the helmet on. That is nice. Got the detailed lines across the top. I think I might end up using this head. Well, but actually, the face looks good, but it looks too calm. It's like he's posing for a glamour shot. And then we've got Adrian Toombs, the man himself. Whoa, I don't know if you can see it, but right here, one time for ageism and discrimination, they got the age spots on them. <laughs> that is dope. All right, so first chink in the armor, check yours. I got a paint scuff here. I don't know if you can see it, but right there is a chip and you can see the flesh tone under it. That's disappointing, because I know I didn't do that. Uh, good figure, proportional. He's lanky and lean, just like he is in the comic book. Not all bolt up and muscular. Paint job is mostly matte. He's not that shiny. Although he looks real shiny in the video. Alright, head straight forward. Head looking up, lean back. I didn't think he was going to be able to lead his head too far back because of the uh, feathers, but it doesn't get in the way. Head looking down. Chin does touch the chest. Abdominal crunch, not too steep. One click. 
Man, I'd kill for that waistline. Abdomen does not click back, so I won't even show you that. 360 bicep swivel. Good bend on the double jointed elbow. Look at that reach. He does have the butterfly joints. Hasbro's making me very happy. I hope this is the norm going forward. Arms do go up to shoulder height. Three sixty degree swivel on the leg at the thigh. Woo, he is limber. I mean ballet limber. Look at that. He can get his foot all the way back, unlike a lot of the figures. And if I leave it like that, he's basically touching his butt. Toe point straight up. That's as far forward as the toe goes. Look at that. Now that's a double joint. Make Black Widow proud. Here's the alternate head. Man, that face sculpt is something else. That's good. I don't know if I like it better than the other one. I do like the helmet, but there's nothing wrong with his face. I'm not saying anything wrong with it. I just don't like that he has no expression whatsoever. He's just kind of chilling, like he's watching a decent movie. I do like it. And the green looks good with the accents on the suit. It's the green on the helmet is not this color green on the chest. It's the color of the little stripes and the accents. So if you have the other vulture, you know that the contraption goes behind him. Here, the wings go in these little slots on the back of his arm. So you just insert them there. Hopefully your vulture has a head. And FYI, the feather collar does move. When I was changing the heads, it popped up. You can actually lift it up and turn it around and take it off if you want. All right, there he is, Adrian Toomes, the OG original comic book vulture, not MCU. It's what people have been waiting for. He's dope. Don't sleep. Run out and get him if you can find him. I'm telling you, grab the whole wave. You're not going to be disappointed. All right, geeks, till next time. Keep checking us out on Daily Motion. If you're watching YouTube right now, I know you're thinking, why go to Daily Motion? Because all the stuff is here on YouTube. After January 1st, I don't know if I'm going to be posting on YouTube. I don't want to get sued. I don't want to get fined. I mean, so Daily Motion it is for right now. Please help support. If you want to keep seeing this stuff, you don't have to pay. I'm not doing Patreon. Just go over and hit the follow button on Daily Motion. Link is in the description. Thanks a lot for your support. Geek out.